What's going on boys and girls? Dave back again and we have another unboxing and initial thoughts. Uh, this is not going to be a full review because I don't have my air compressor and everything all set up. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new airbrush produced by Madwork. So without further ado, no spiels, no this, no that. Let's jump down to the table, take a look at what comes inside the box and my initial thoughts on it. All right, all right, all right. So here we are with the Madworks uh, M-201 airbrush. This is a 0.3 millimeter. Uh, I had some initial thoughts before this even got sent over. Thank you, Zach, over at Galactic Toys for sending this for me to test and review. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a initial first thoughts and everything. And then what I'm going to end up doing is we're going to put it through its paces, painting on the Ryu, and then also painting on the on the Yaolan High Nu. So that is the plan. This is going to be a 0.3 fine line nozzle. The cup is going to be a nine milliliter. It is a double action uh, PTFE seals and yes I'm reading everything off the side over here because I can't remember all that in one shot all right getting the lid off you do have some foam in here it is really well packed as with a lot of mad work stuff you get the like red accent on here and I'm going to say this right off the bat I had initial thoughts when this ended up you know basically coming out before I even got a copy of it and then this reminds me of the Pro Convoy, which is a uh, GSI uh, Krios product. It also really reminds me of the Iwata. Now, I'm just going to say it flat out say this. We found out a long time ago that the Pro Con by GSI and the Iwata are made in the same factory. They're just laser etched the different uh, company names. And there are several companies that do that. Now, there are knockoffs that end up doing that, but this does not appear to be one. I've actually already broken this down and looked at all the pieces and everything and it actually matches my Awada and my Procon. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, this comes with a couple different things. You do get a, it's not a quick release, but it's, I don't know how this ends up working over there because we don't have it here or at least I, I don't ha haven't had this issue. So this has the barb where it can just be shoved into the rubber hose for the airbrush. Uh, I've never had that experience of had to do that, um, but you can do that. It attaches to here. The Iwata uh, size quick releases, that will work on here. You do get some spare parts along with a grommet that's in here. You do get a wrench and I down in the bottom, you do get an instruction manual and I might as well pull that out just to show you guys. So parts list, uh, you get all the parts list. It gives you a how to operate. It gives you a most common problem, how to preserve the airbrush, how to hold the airbrush, just the normal basic stuff for the airbrush itself. One of the things I did find really curious about this is where all the others, like the cap that's on here, it fits on here really tight, but I found it kind of funny that it's more of a, a sandblasted finish on the cap instead of being a chrome finish but I hardly ever put a cap on there anyway. Uh, one of the things that I did notice that they ended up changing on here is the, the finger grip. It is a little more comfortable. It is a little more concave. It has a little more grip on here as far as for your finger pad. You do get the red accent that is for the butt over here. So that is adjustable. Half of the time, I'll be honest, I don't even have this on here so that I can you know do this to clean it out. But all the seals, everything on here seemed to be you know, pretty great. Uh, you do have the nozzle protector on here or the tip protector. Half the time that ends up coming off. And I believe this other is a straight protector that is, can go on there. But if you're experienced in airbrushing and you know, you don't lay it down on the tip and everything half the time, I don't even do the tip on there. Uh, and I do plan on showing you guys how to use airbrushes in the future. So definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, I do like the fact that it has a nice big cup. It is polished all the way down into the bottom. Uh, my uh, Procon down in the chamber down there is actually kind of uh, a sandblasted finish. So paint has a tendency of sticking down there. Uh, again, this is a, a double action airbrush. The Iwata fittings for the Neo and the regular Iwata will fit on here. The Badger will not. All the parts seem to fit very well. And again, I don't have my air uh, compressor set up over at the new booth yet, so we can't test it. But everything in here looks exactly like the Iwata and the Procon, so I don't expect, I don't expect any different. 
the needle on here the needle on here is in great shape it already came lubricated you can lubricate it if you want uh, the tip is nice it was not bent at all it fits in nice and smooth I don't feel any drag or anything tighten that down slap the cap back on if you choose to I usually don't have the cap on that way I can keep an eye on it uh, I also usually don't have the protector on here that way like I can have a rag or something and you know put on there to get some blowback into the cup if I'm wanting to mix that way uh, everything seems to go together really well uh, the only thing I have noticed is this right here on I can't remember if it's the iWater or the Procon this part is actually separate on there where this seems to be fused uh, or soldered to the main body but everything goes together really well you can literally break this down uh, into like many parts if god forbid you had to replace seals or replace anything like that the seals are on here are rated for like lacquers and stuff like that so you shouldn't have any issue with that the weight on it it's a full metal double action it is kind of weighty um, but that shouldn't be a problem uh, the cup that's going to be your biggest weight right there is once you definitely get paint in there and you're spraying on it you might get some fatigue but most people you're not even going to end up noticing it not unless you're doing hours and hours of painting but i find this a very comfortable uh i like the finish on here it hasn't scratched up of course i haven't used it but it hasn't scratched up it didn't have any scratches on it it just looks great and you can't beat the price on it uh i think this is i know it's about half of the cost of the iwata and it's um uh, it's definitely cheaper than the Procon as well. So for the price, I think it's around the $80 range somewhere in there. I'm too lazy to look it up right now. But if you check the link that I have down below, you can definitely check it out. Check the prices. And by clicking the link, you support this channel. I get about 10 cents for you purchasing this. So that helps buy toward buying a cup of coffee. And also um, use the code STARSHADOW. That's also down below to get 10% off so you can get it even cheaper. I think value because I remember this was uh, I think it's around $80 uh, and again it's cheaper than the Iwata it's cheaper than the Procon and it's made exactly the same they've made a little difference like I said on the on the trigger but as far as quality and everything it it feels the same uh, again little you know I'm curious why they ended up going with a frosted uh cap on here but i never use a cap anyway so it doesn't really matter and the only reason i mentioned the frosted cap is because if you get paint sloshed on there it's it's going to stick more to the frosted than it is to the polished finish and that's one of the reasons that a lot of companies use a polished finish or chrome finish on these pieces is because it's easy to wipe the paint off it's easier to clean the paint off when you have a rougher surface it's a little bit harder um but yeah this was not a full-on review i just wanted to give you a unboxing and overview on this guy uh so far i, I like it. it it compares to my others i'm going to put it through its paces by using it strictly for doing uh the ryu and then also working on the uh, the Yao Lan High New so that should be fun if you guys want to see more videos like this on tools stuff like that definitely click that like I am going to be working on a best tools of 2020 to pick up for working on resin and plastic kits but mostly for resin as usual YouTube I will see you guys all in the next video peace out